Good morning, Forest Park. Today is September 29, 2022. I'm Don Jones. I'm the city manager here in the city of Forest Park. Welcome to our show, Off the Cuff, where we try and give some information about some things that have been occurring in the city and some upcoming events. So let's begin with uh, the Harvest Fest. The Harvest Fest, again, is uh, continuing our, our great tradition with the city of Forest Park. It'll be held this week, this Saturday, October 1st, from 11 to 2. It'll be held at its regular location, which is behind the firehouse here at the municipal complex in the parking lot. If we have bad weather, we'll move it into the fire bays. So October 1st from 11 to 2, the Harvest Fest. Make sure you bring your kids, your family. It'll be a lot of fun. There'll be games, events, costumes are encouraged for the kids. There'll be lots of candy. I've seen the bags, so make sure you show up and just have a good time celebrating uh, the Harvest Fest here with the City of Forest Park and a grand tradition that's been uh, ongoing for some time. Also going on with the city right now is youth basketball signups. You can call our recreation department or email them. It's for kids age K through 12th grade. The signup is occurring right now, so let's make sure you get your kids signed up if they're interested in, interested in uh, playing basketball here with the City of Forest Park. Practices will begin in November and games will begin in December. So now's the time to get signed up and get everyone who's interested signed up to play basketball here in the city of Forest Park. Contact our recreation department. You can call them or email them for more information or just stop in and we'll help you get all signed up. Uh, last week we had a work session with city council and one of the things we talked about was uh, a company called CEO, which is a company that will provide uh, maintenance, grass cutting, other uh, services to the community, to the city, and uh, we hope that we'll be able to use them next year in, uh, in our parks and along our, our right-of-ways, and whether it's grass cutting or maintenance in the park or litter pickup, and uh, hopefully that'll be a cost-effective way to continue to provide these services at a lower cost to the citizens. And we look forward to entering into an agreement with this company. We'll have more information on that as we get closer to finalizing the agreement. But again, we're still trying to uh, provide a cost-effective way for the citizens to, uh, to enjoy our parks, get things done, and uh, make sure that our city still looks good. So uh, look for more information about that, and we'll be talking about it into the future. Uh, as an update, again, last week was our homecoming parade for the Winton Woods uh, High School. It's a great success, and we want to thank all those who attended uh, the parade and all those who participated in the parade. Uh, many, many citizens, lots of kids, lots of families lined the parade route, and we want to thank everyone for coming out and making it a great event. And again, congratulations to the Winton Woods Warriors for winning the uh, homecoming game. So good luck on the next games, and hopefully we'll bring back another state championship with the uh, Winton Woods Warriors. Our large appliance pickup is still ongoing. That's going to be going on uh, through April of this year. And that basically, if you have a large appliance that has Freon in it, that would be a refrigerator, freezer, air conditioner, things like that. If it has Freon in it, it qualifies. We do it uh, one day a month. So give us a call, schedule the appointment, and we'll send out our public works crews to, uh, to pick up that appliance and make sure that it's disposed of properly and the Freon is removed from it and uh, make sure that, uh, that uh, we take care of our, our environment and take care of our community. So large appliance collection, give us a call, schedule an appointment, and uh, we'll provide the, uh, the pickup and the Freon removal. Council meeting is coming up as well. That'll be on mo Monday, October 3rd. That's the regular council meeting. It'll be at 8 p.m. here at the City Hall in our regular uh, council chambers. So if you uh, want to attend, please attend. And again, it starts at 8 o'clock. It's also available uh, streaming on, uh, on Waycross TV, so you can watch it live. And uh, so if you can't make, the, make it in person, feel free to watch the, uh, the Waycross TV uh, and participate that way and learn more about what's going on our, on our community. One of the things that will be coming up at, at, uh, at the next meeting, among other items, will be a, um, uh, an ordinance regarding civil service rules. We'll be updating our civil service rules and making some changes to them to make them uh, um, more compliant with state law and to uh, make it easier and uh, better and more efficient for us to uh, hire folks here at the City of Forest Park and fill positions. So 
That'll be discussed and we'll be bringing that forward as an ordinance at the next meeting. So if you're interested in that, uh, again, watch it on TV or come to the meeting and, uh, and listen to the discussion. Um, finally, I want to end with uh, congratulating our former mayor, Chuck Johnson, who served this city well for many years. He has been awarded the NAACP Cincinnati uh, Theodore M. Berry Award for outstanding achievement in, pol in the political area and service to the community. Uh, you, those of you who know uh, our mayor, former Mayor Chuck Johnson, he uh, did a great job here in our city and uh, is a tremendous leader and uh, couldn't have had a better person receive this award for all of Hamlin County in the Cincinnati area. And we congratulate him for winning this award. We congratulate the NAACP for recognizing his service and recognizing his excellence. And of course, we thank him for the years of service here in our community, and he's still actively involved and will probably stay actively involved as long as he can. So congratulations, Mayor Johnson, on winning this award, and uh, we hope that, uh, that you enjoy it. Stay safe, Forest Park. See you next week.